Hello everybody, I'm a Jim Jim uh, I'm 10 and I enjoy chess. Now I want to analyze round 7 to 9 from 7 to 9 round in European and Online Just Chess Championship. Let's go. Okay, I can hear me. European and Online Just Great. Chess Championship. So yeah, I'll analyze my rounds from 7 round to 9. Just a second, I'll open chess result. Uh, here it is. And boom. So... Mm -hmm. Like this, yeah. Like this, and let's analyze. First game I played in the third, third day of playing, it was I was with White and I was playing against Simon Jacob, he's from Poland. Um, he is federating classic 2339 games, a rapid 1416, and in Blitz 1811. So in the world bits classic he's three thousand two hundred ninety sevenths, in Poland one thousand fourteenths, and in Europe two thousand five hundred thirty first. This is rate in progress. Classic he come down, then come up, then again come up, it'll be down, come up, 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 down, up, down, up. It was like the same rating, then he came up and up. Um in rapid it was like this. Come up, come up, come up. Ouch. He cut, came up, came up, and came up. And that's now. He's rating 17, 16. And in Blitz, it is this. Come up a little bit. Come up, he came down a little bit, and came up. Came up, came down a little bit. Up, up. A little bit down, like on some point. Yeah. Then up. Then the same up. The same and then a little bit up. So, like this. Um, so, we'll check his first two classical tournaments. First, and this. This, this, this. This. I forgot this. It's so many tabs. Um, okay, so he opened his classic rating in here. Z out of one point. I don't know what rating, no, probably he didn't open it. Uh, he opened classical rating in this tournament. Seems so. Yeah, in European and US Chess Championship under 18. Czech Republic, he got 5 is a half points out of 9 possible. That's his opponents, and yeah. Next, it is, it comes, um, is. First classical tournament with rating it was in Poland, three with health points out of seven possible, but minus seventy seven on rating. Ouch. Yep, then it comes wait rapid. Let's see last classical one. Where's last classical? This should be yeah. This last classical one, Polish rapid. Oh no, it's rapid. Whoops! <laughs> okay, uh it was two tournaments in Poland. First one he got plus 52, 8 points out of 9. So that was his opponent. He lost only one game. It's a very nice result. And second one was also tournament in Poland. He got 5 as a half points out of 9 possible and uh, plus 115 on rating. That's also very nice. Okay, yeah. So it's like this. So now let's go on to rapid, he opened his rapid with six points out of six and get performance one thousand three hundred and twelve. So that's that's nice, six out of six. And it comes rapid. Oh wait, it's rapid. Here is rapid Polish rapid just just championship under ten. In Poland, he was of course in Poland, he, he had seven points out of ten, plus twenty-five on rating. Yeah. Then it comes last tournament he played in Rapid, it is also in Poland. Uh, 9 with health points out of 11 possible and plus 29 to 20 on rating. Nice. And then it comes Blitz. Blitz first tournament he opened rating. He didn't really open it, right? No, he opened uh, 1 point out of 2 possible and performance 1113. Then, then it comes his first opening uh, a tournament in Blitz, but with rating, 5 is a half points out of 9 possible, and minus 18 rating. And then it comes last Blitz tournament he played. Mm, 11 out of 11. Wow. Nice. Uh, 
and he got plus 35 on rating. That's nice. It was in Poland. Okay. So let's get started analyzing this game. Um, I was with White, as I told you before. It was 3 1 2 for me and Neil 1 1 for him. So we started with some kind of Catalan slash <laughs> Queen's game to accept slash weird opening. A4 is in accuracy. E4 was the best. Okay. Then, okay, D takes C in accuracy based on Bishop E3, but I saw D takes C is the best because I get a pawn. <laughs> pawn grabber is back, I see. Okay, B takes C. Doesn't seem that I have any problems here, but I have some. Mm, g 4 I had to play Bishop D4 here, and I, I don't like his easies, but I have this, this, and D takes C, or something like this. Uh, yeah, and if bishop d4 would be ace, then I could just play queen a7, and stock is best thing for him is just to force a draw by this way. Yeah, that seems fine. Rook d1, knight d3, rook d7, necrosive. Yeah, when I come to this position, when I play rook d1, I saw he'll do knight e3, rook d7, and then knight g2, and king f1, like queen f6, and I saw something like this. Or oh, knight e3, this is. But I saw that seems fine, I just didn't see rook b8. But yeah, he didn't do it. Uh, Ftc was better than rook d7, but still, after queen g5, with queen e3 ideas, queen c3 ideas, rook b8 ideas, so many ideas. Doesn't seem that I'm fine here. So, queen f6 mistake, but sounds true, knight g2. This, knight e3, as I told you, Ftc, queen f6, this. And yeah, here I'm completely losing queen of 2, queen e3. So I'm losing. And I take c blunder back, but on c5. So I had to do this. Queen e5. This, this, king of 1 is much better here. Uh, I mean, it seems dangerous, but after queen e4, queen b1 is not possible and I'm fine. Yeah, but he had to play knight g2, and after queen g2, queen e5 is still close to winning, but yeah. But okay, I take c, queen c3 is this, queen c7 I had to play queen b8, and here I'm losing, but still some chances, but here I was completely losing, after she played g5, so I saw already time to give up, or something like this, oh and yeah, I also forgot, it's Ivan Jacob, and he's 2008 year, and he's a feeder master, so yeah, this, and here he made a giant mistake, he had to play queen f6, king g4, this, and here he can chop on f1, he can do this, this, and he's completely winning. I just rook up and he'll win. But then I played queen c2, I saw that queen e2 is idea and queen c2 is threatened, but I don't saw that queen e2 is mate. And I also saw idea like somehow I play like this, but then h5, and that's all. So queen of 2 is an unstoppable idea. So I had like 10 seconds here and I played queen king g4. Mm, so if he plays queen e2, then bishop f3, and they can win this. Mm, yeah, bishop f3 is this. <laughs> that seems even fine for me. <laughs> yeah, so queen g2, uh, queen e5, queen e2. If he, can, if he just chop rooks, then I can play king h5, it says, and f6, queen e6, I'm winning. And then king h6, queen g7, idea. Oh no, it's a draw. Ah. Oh no, it's not a draw. That's so nice. Yeah. King h5, g takes a, g4. He cannot check me. And then my idea is just king h6. So that's so nice. <laughs> yeah. So he cannot play, but he played queen e2. So if king h3 is and g4, it's mate. <laughs> I don't want it, of course. So king g5, f6. He's making a fork on my king and queen. So king of 4 he can just chop and queen of 6 It also doesn't seem nice for me. Queen is 3 also is good for him. So I played king h6. Mm, idea is, of course, queen e6. But also idea rook g7, rook h7. Here he played queen g4 with idea of like queen g6 and this stuff. Yeah. And f take c. So here I had like three moves. Maybe let's retake five, maybe five even moves. I guess three. Yeah, three. I saw all of them. Queen of five is of course bad, so <laughs> that's a nice. Let's move back to three. So first one was queen e five, but after queen g three to play this, and I can force it wrong by this crazy way. Yeah, this and queen g five. Ah, you serious? And then here this is. Isn't it close for a win like this? But no, rook f six. Yeah, but. 
Second way was queen d6, and this rook g7 and I forced a draw. Uh, but okay, when I played queen g5, if he chop, yeah, so I saw queen e6, but I like, yeah, and of course, I cannot chop rook because of mating one. And when I played queen g5, I saw. Probably he yeah it was completely winning for him I understood it and probably he don't he don't want to draw and he can play queen g5 after what he's completely winning yeah, I'm completely winning so probably so he don't want to draw and probably he can even lose but okay he of course so and he played after g and after rook g7 this we agree and draw because I'll just repeat the position how much as I want but yeah more or less I don't know when but it will be a draw. So that was some kind of game, not some kind of, it was really, really, really interesting. And <laughs> the skin run, like in short team on game. <laughs> so nice. So yeah, analyze this game in, uh, I analyzed it in Leeches. Now let's analyze it in Chesco. 96.9 accuracy for me, 98.8 accuracy for him. One brilliant for me, yay! One brilliant move for me, zero for him. 16 best move for me, 19 for him. And one excellent for each of us, one good for me, zero for him. Seven a book move for me, six for him. One inaccuracy for me, zero for him. Two mistakes for each of us, one blunder for me, zero for him. And zero mistakes for each of us. Yeah, King G4 was, no, Queen E5 is brilliant. Okay, so King G4. Ah, okay, King G4 is only, I see, yeah. I see. So let's get started. Let's get started. I mean, in opening, we didn't have something really, really special. So that seemed quite fine for us. Uh, here, I of course didn't do my best. Here, the e4 was nice. But still, it's okay. Queen b1, castle is alternative move. This. Knight c4 this. Here I could have, it's here, it says bishop e3 is fine. So knight d5, what? If I chop, then bishop d5, but okay, this is this. And then bishop a 2 f4. So okay, instead of bishop e3, it doesn't like it because of c takes d. So it says I can do, I could have do bishop c4, bishop a 4 b takes c. If c takes d, then knight d6, and I'm better even. But if b takes c, this. With the seven castle, I'm also better. So yeah, but I play d takes c. That's not the best move. That's good, but not the best. <laughs> b takes c. This is bishop e three, and here it's a similar like d wars. Yeah, here rook e one was mistake. I had to do this. So after e five, I'll have c six. Uh, e takes d. This this this, and here I'm fine. Uh, if he do this, no. If he yeah, and if he do rook b eight, then you can just like agree and draw somewhere here or uh, over here once you can do this and we can just force a draw. So knight g3 is the best, rook d7 is mistake because so fx c. Yeah, f takes c here is also really close to winning and should win soon. Queen f6 is mistake, he had to chop knight g2 and then queen g5. And yeah, here he's just perfect, rook on b2, completely winning <laughs> and this stuff. F takes c in accuracy business c5. Here I cannot say I'm good. Then, yeah, queen 7 was blunder. I had to play queen b8, but even if I play queen b8, I'm still losing. Or, yeah, I'm losing, and he's very close to realize but play, play queen c5 and something like this. And here, queen c2, I don't know why it's not a blunder. <laughs> yeah, okay, so h5 is the best here, it says. But queen f6 is also fine. No, wait, queen f6 is the best. Oh! Even computer now don't see. He says queen c2 is best. Lol. And he didn't see this. He don't see the skin g4. Yeah. Okay. Queen f6 was better. This h5. King h5. Rook g2. And I have to sacrifice rook, but that's not saves me. And I'm completely losing here. After not no. After this, is, I'm completely winning. Just h3, and I'm losing. But okay. He really don't say it. Queen c2. It says it's mistake. H5 was best, but king g4. Wait, computer didn't see it until here. Yes, yeah, that's why it's brilliant. Queen e5. <laughs> and I'd say it's draw long. He saw queen e5, rook f2. But don't I have like. I have queen g5, this, king h5, and I can play win. But it said, uh, yeah, it plus 3, but it said it's plus 6 for opponent. Yeah, but. Okay. King g4, it's only move to run, off ch run out of. Lose because queen e2 may threat if and if I do like h5, the if I do bishop of one then h5 and bishop f2. 
So I spent many time and took the king to like king g4 when I had like 10 seconds. So this queen g2. If you play this queen e2, then we should have stay in time winning already. So queen g2, queen e5 only means this idea of perpetual. Uh, he played queen e2. If you chop rook, then I could even win this because king h5 and as we saw. And here he also don't see g4 as a brilliant move. <laughs> yeah, and here I'm winning. So king g5 f6, it's 4, but after king h6, uh, queen g4, queen. I had queen h5, 3 draw moves this, and then I can play and queen g5 like I did later on in game, or I can do rook h3 and also force a draw like this. And I don't know, rook h7, I can play on win even here, but queen g1 and he's perfectly fine. Then I also had queen e6, but after queen e6 is it leads into a draw. But when I played queen g5, uh, yeah, why well, I played queen g5? Because if he played queen g5, <laughs> maybe he don't want draw, so I'd probably he can play this, and then I'm completely winning here with his rook g7 tricks. But after I take g he did in game, I, can, I, I just did perpetual, so that was really nice and <laughs> really tough and really crazy game. I mean, especially the skin run. I like the skin run because it was like from short team and I guess game. So, <laughs> yeah, that was quite similar. And now it says queen 7 blunder. I saw, I saw it says my open and made it. No, it's a blunder. I don't think it's the best. Critical. Brilliant. Critical. So it is 2.2 .2 accuracy for me, so 91 and 91.1 for me in total, and, I, and plus 0 0.6 for him, and in total 99.4. Okay, so now let's analyze this game in Chessbase 15. So it's already, yeah, and my opponent finished on second place with 7 with half points. Congrats with second place, and let's analyze the game. Alt F2, and let's get started. I guess I can skip opening part. We didn't have really many important scenes in there. Yeah, I get slightly better, but to be honest, when I played a game, I saw I'm not so good. Yeah, probably is this... I don't know. Yeah. I can say it's a mistake. The same for Bishop F4 I had to play. Because this is Bishop C6, Castle Knight H5. And it's draw. So yeah, wait. So B takes C, mm, the best move. Um, queen B seven this. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay, it's, it's it's okay. It's nothing better than this. Um, that's a blunder for me. I had to play Bishop D four, and oh, not brilliant move. Yeah, best move. And after E five, wow, that's a brilliant move then. <laughs> he takes D and then just he takes D and time better. Well, yeah, two pawns, but E5, like uh, this idea, H3's idea, many. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Um, but if you do just rook beat, that's the best move. I say E5 is mistake. And here, just this, and it's a draw over here. So 93 is the best. I mean, I can only move, but best. <laughs> uh, rook, rook d7, knight g2, that's a mistake, but he had to play knight g2. King of 1, knight e3, take c, queen e6, king e2, rook b8, this. Yeah, she's winning. I mean, okay, uh, I also did a mistake. I had to play e5, was the best, but still, after that, King of one this this C8 King G2 Black is better but still with some chances for white. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, queen c3, mm -hmm. that's uh, one more mistake. I had to do this, I had to play this. Ah, uh, not this, wait a second, worst move. I mean, g5, let's win him. Black is winning. 
but is a steel at some problems with realization part. Yeah. Okay, Ruby 2. Mm, that's the best move. Uh, King of 3 and that's g5 is nice. And here it's a blunder. You have to play queen of six. Ay, yo, yo. Click too many times on h4. This is. No! Why, why delete it? Sorry. <laughs> I almost slipped. Ouch. King of three, reduce three, and he's winning. And yeah. So, king g4 is best move, only move. So, yeah, his idea is this, and h5. Well, king is not nice. So, king g4 is the best. So, I can say that's even this move. <laughs> I know, but yeah, if queen e2 is already a mistake, to bishop of 3 white winning. So after queen e5, that's one more best move. Um, queen e2, if he plays queen h1, that's huge blunder. And king h5, brilliant move. And e4, what I forgot, if g takes h, g4. And king is nice and this bad. And yeah, <laughs> king h6 and queen g7 ideas. So yeah, mm, king g5, wait, what? No, it's okay. f6, so this. Uh, queen h5 also was interesting, I can say. Queen g3, queen g5, or play rook h7, and it's. <laughs> and I can play also rook h3. Queen g1. Queen g5 also equal. Yeah, so I leave this main variation. So, and I also had queen e6, interesting. And queen e6, rook g7, it's also draw. But if take takes g, this is it's just a draw, and draw the game. See when drop up. So, yeah, now let's go. You can close this, this, and this. Now I played blacks against, yeah, and Simon Jacob was from Poland. Um, so now I played a game against Zoroslav Bazakutsa. He's from Ukraine, he's 2008 here. He won in 2008. He has a standard rating 1966, rapid rating 1900, and this 1933. So, in Volta, from active players, he's 28,881st, in Ukraine, 420s, and in um, Europe, 23,456. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I see. So, in progress. Classic, he start with. 1900, that's nice, and he come down, came down, came down, and he come up, then again a little bit down, and then up, and then up, <laughs> 1.2, down, one more time down, then up, and then now it's 1960, in 1966. So, in Blitz, he started with 1880, 1884. He came up to not to 2000 still. Oh, he had 1969 in classic and in blitz. Did he have the same? No, in rapid he didn't have yet. So then he came down a little bit, came down once more. Then it was like the same rating for a long of time. And then he twice came up and like this. And in rapid he started with 1600. Then he came up. Again came up, little bit down, came up. And then came up and now a little bit down. So let's check. When did he open rating? When it was first tournament. Okay, I'll open first classic and last tournament. Then it comes comes repeat. This and this and blitz is not available. So this. Okay, so he opened his classic rating with three out of seven points in uh, Ukraine. Yeah, in Ukraine, um, boys under eighteen Ukrainian championships. So, yeah, that was his opponents. Mm. 
then his first uh, rating, uh, tournament with rating, when he had defeated the rating already, it was Ukrainian Chess Championship under 14 semi final, and also in Ukraine, my, and two out of four points, but my minus 59 rating, ouch. Um, then it comes his last tournament he played in in classic. It is Ukraine boys twelve under twelve championship also in in Ukraine. Um, he get eight visa half points out of eleven possible minus three twenty on rating. So something like this. Then in rapid it was also in Ukraine chess championship boys under eighteen in rapid also in hockey one point out of five possible. That's his result. Then his um, first tournament, uh, first tournament, how to say, first tournament when he had federating already, it was the uh, second feeder of the Rapid Chess Championship under 10 boys in Minsk. Means yeah, plus seven with a half, seven with a half point out of nine possible plus twenty nine sixty on rating. Then it comes um, and last uh, last tournament in rapid tip late, it was Ukraine boys under twelve championship rapid also in Ukraine. Uh so yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying also in Ukraine if it's Ukraine boys championship. You get seven out of nine points and minus twelve on rating. Yep. Um. So his first um. Blitz tournament was hockey region. Uh, in Blitz, um, so he scored. No, it's he had rating already, but still, he scored five out of ten points. Uh, uh, plus forty nine dot sixty on rating, so you can see his opponents. And this was second final world got at Blitz only Blitz just championship under ten points. Seven with a half points out of nine possible and minus two forty on rating. Yep, so the all, I uh, know, and last one, last tournament he played, it was in Blitz, it was Ukraine boys, under 12, yeah, it was rapid, uh, rap, uh, classical rapid and Blitz, he played in all of them, 7 with a half points out of 9 possible, with 14, plus 1440 in rating, 1740, excuse me, 1740 on rating, you can see his opponents, and, yeah, pretty much just nice, and now that we can get started in, in analyzing the game, so d5 is the next episode of bishop c5. I mean, that's okay. It's three next episodes b3. Okay, some inaccuracies. But it does not really matter. I mean, we don't mistake many, too many, and it's just like small inaccuracies. d4 was nice. They also calculated, but he didn't play it. Uh, b3, next episode d4. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, also d4 here, so not b5 yet. But okay, he didn't play it, and we got. Into this position, mm, it's quite nice for blacks. I like it when he plays the game. So, queen is an next division, queen d6. And here for the draw. e3 next division, rookie one. Yeah, I don't like a3 move. I saw he can do some kind of d4, maybe rook d1 and then d4, but preparing. I don't like e3 because now uh, the slide squares can be weak. And for sure, I can also jump with my knight over here. So, I played rook a8, ID, and ID4, and ID2. And also knight b4, knight d3, or knight b4, knight a2. Because I cannot do it before, because my opponent c7 was weak. So rook e1 in next exhibition is rook d1. Yeah, and then he just bishop f3, knight b4, and bishop e2 is exhibition is bishop b4. So I don't have to chop a pawn to stop with a if I chop it, then... Then what? And this is, and bishop h7 and he's... Even slightly better after queen g6, queen c5, he's close to winning here. But okay, after bishop e2, I get the pawn, then I play this, and bishop e3 next to business that, and rook d5 in next to business this. So here I'm already plus 2, I give him pawn back, but I saw that those two will pawn fail at some point because after this. Uh, he had to move his bishop on b3 is hanging, and at some point, on, if you move bishop to a3 or somewhere on d2 is hanging. But he played this, this, rook b3, f4 in x, this rook g4. It seems like 
my my knight is also not a nice place, but I felt I'm much better here. Rook e4 in exhibits on this. And rook e4 back in mistakes on rook e5. But even if he chops and c takes d and I'm close really close to winning. So I just have to push my pawns and his rook is far away. Rook e5 in x on c5. Mm, yep. H4 in x on c6. Yeah, so that's that already does not matter. Here I was also a little bit scared that after he played h5, I saw I can lose, but then I saw that I have skin g6 and so rook g1 check, I don't have to run king h7. I can do it and I'm perfectly fine, I know. <laughs> after rook of two nice streaks, so I rook h5 and I'm winning, but if I do this, then it's a draw after that. After that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but I played rook g5, I just lost, so he have no counter play. Then we traded bishops. And I gave a pawn here. And here I was really scared. I played rook f1 and he has a rook g1. And so I have to play rook g1 and then slowly, slowly after king g1. I have to do this, then this, this, and I so slowly to win. But I found rook first to f5, so if we chop on a b2, then this. And I get rook. If rook g4, what he did? Yeah, okay, if rook b1, then I can do rook f1 and then. This is this, this b1. If rook g4, like he did in games, then rook b5. And rook b5 in exhibition is rook e4. But rook e4 also does not matter. This, and I can do rook f1. I can do rook b7 also, and rook f1 and b1. So yeah, like this. And rook b5, then, like in the game, I played rook d2. And the rest was just a matter of time. I really did. So that's some inaccuracy, but that does not matter. And here, mate and m1. Here, Baza Kutz, Svetoslav. So it was 10 in x3 mistakes, 0 blunders for him, and 5 in x3 mistakes, 0 blunders for me. So it was on chess.com, it's 81.6 accuracy for him, 91.9 accuracy for me. Zero brilliant move for each of us, 36 best move for him, 41 for me. 16 excellent for him and 16 excellent for me. 11 good move for each of us, 7 book move for him, 6 for me. 5 inaccuracies for him, 6 for me. 5 mistakes for him, 0 for me. 1 blunders for each of us and 0 missed wins for each of us. I, I forgot to tell us that, like this. So let's get started. It does not say like only just many necklaces, just bishop e6 and x. I had to play bishop e7. So he don't have this d4. Yeah, d4 was the best. Mm -hmm. I see. So here it's fine. Yeah, e3 is good. But I would say it's inaccuracy. Just play like slowly rook e1 or rook d1. Yeah, rook e1, it does not tell me anything, and it seems likely, like, it feels like I didn't draw something like this. Rook e1 is mistake, this one's rook e1. Yeah, because I think probably he didn't see it, or he saw, and he said it's fine. I think he just didn't see this knight before. So, bishop f3, knight b4. Bishop e2 in x, this one's bishop e4. Yeah, but even here I'm better, because... Light squares is weak at some point. I can put queen like here, knight over here. It's, uh, I know it's my dream, of course, but still um, at some point it can be possible. Okay, knight a2. Queen c2, this, this. So here I'm already pawn up and really close to winning. Let's keep this part because here we traded queens. I gave him pawn, but this pawn is. I attack bishops, this pawn is weak. And this pawn might hang as well. So rook a4, then just like I have knight b6, and bishop a5 is, is king of 7, and then winning, and rook g4, knight c5. So if he do, if like rook g4, then I can have king, king here, or as I plan, rook d3, I'm fine here. Yeah, 5, king of 7. King of 7 it looks the best, to be honest. But if you do this, then rook d3, f4 in x, it's not king of 1. But I guess already here I'm better. I have these three really strong plus pawns, and I mean, all my three pawns holds his five pawns, and as of three pawns, it's like I have two plus pawns. It's B and A because D pawn at some point can stop C pawn, but he don't have any plus pawn. So yeah, yeah. So rook h4 this, um, rook h4 mistake is on rook d5, but even here I'm better, really close to winning, I can play b5 and win, um, rook h8, and the is on c5, 
Yeah, rook h7, I saw here, but I have this rook g8 and I'm fine. So here on g5, he cannot chop because I have this king g6. But he, yeah, okay, he can chop. I just like what in the game we have. And rook d1 is mistake, but here it's already this mistake doesn't give him anything because I mean, here I just play b2, a5, a4, and winning. Rook d5 in activism is rook h8. Rook h2, mistake since h5. I mean, I'm fine here, yeah. I ju he just like still made my king and. Wait. That's a big advantage. It says 384, but now it says it's 129. Okay, it says 96 and I'm plus 3. I see. Okay, but here king g6, rook g1, rook g5 is strong. <laughs> but king h7, rook f2 is tricky. And of course, not play this, because after this. And that's a draw, so and if I try to win rook e4 and rook f2 and I'm losing. Ninety five inaccuracy, but I mean I don't know. I never sacrifice it. Okay. But okay, I just decide to trade. Mm, rook e5 inaccuracy versus rook e4. Still winning. And here Chesscom also says b2 blunt versus rook f1. Yeah, I also was really scared. I mean I'm winning. It's b1. Stuff, but here I was really scared when I played Rook F1. Here I saw I have to chop and chop and then King D5, King C4, and King to D3 and slow realization part. But then I saw I have this, and if Rook B2 and Rook H5, this is and Rook F5. If he plays like Rook B6, hmm, then I mean he can just do this and I'm winning. This is this and Rook B6, and if yeah. If rook g4 he did in game, rook b5. If rook e4, then I can do king d5. Ouch. Mm. King d5, rook here, this. This and rook f1. Uh, what else? If rook b4, then I can just chop here and then rook f1. And yeah, but then it was just a matter of time. Rook b2 mistake. I mean, rook e2. How, how do you save position? I don't know. Yeah, here I was a little bit scared that, like, I don't know, rook a7, some, some stalemate tricks. Rook a2 just blunder, but <laughs> blunder one does not save game, but so. <laughs> and queen e1 in accuracy, but on skin g3, faster mate. And yeah, here it's mate and I won. You can set a slot as a good, so let's check. Knight is 3 slots, book move, I see. Rook e1, of course, I remember rook d1. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I'll have to chill a little bit and, and wait until its next key moment. Here it comes. Rook a4 mistake, rook d5. I remember. Rook d1 mistake here, I don't remember. I don't know, h5 or oh, what, I forgot. Rook f1. I forgot. Yeah, bishop a5, I guess, yeah. Rook h2, h5. Yeah, blunder for me, I remember. B2 blunder, just okay. Rook f1 first and then b2. Mm -hmm. Game changer, but that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that wasn't really a mistake. Yeah, fast to mate, huh? In g3. So plus 2.1 for me in accuracy, so 94 in total, and plus 7.8 for him, so 89.4 in total for him. So let's analyze game just with Shift T, Ctrl F. I mean, I'll just say here, D4 is the interesting move. I'll not say that anything is in accuracy. Just say that it was interesting, D4 even here is interesting. Bishop d5 this, queen e7. After queen e7 he had this interesting move after analyze this game and yeah, and this was interesting move. This, this, knight c4 and knight c4 with compensation. Compensation, right, yeah. Uh, rook fd8, this is, I can say it's inaccuracy. He had to play, yeah, just slowly d3 and prepare d4 at some point and he's fine. So he has minimum draw, he can just move back and forth and he's fine. And it's equal. This and yeah, here it was more bigger mistake. He had to play d4. I 
six and it's equal. Let's see five and it's equal. But after this, here's that one more mistake. He had to play this, and yes, then it seems like he's fine. Rook d1, c6, queen c2 seems like equal. So knight a2. Mm -hmm. So I got it. At rook b3. I saw I could do rook b3, but I, I decided not to risk. It's interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. Rook b3 even here was interesting. Queen c2, rook d5. Queen f7 is nice. I guess an interesting move because this queen g6 is the best and this is nice. So now this is bad and this bad. So idea this. If he plays bishop a5, as I told you, this I have. Ah, that's that's like what in game. Oops, because I see something is wrong. Yeah, if this and I have this and I'm fine. If Rook a4 then he b6 and I'm winning. If bishop c3 then I can just jump or king f7. And I'm better. Something like this, yeah. So bishop a5 he played rook d3 this. Mm -hmm, that's a mistake. Yeah, he had to put rook in two game and still he has some chances. Probably not so much, but still some chances left. Ay, ay, no. Yeah. And here I'm better, but still with some compensation. But after king of seven, ay, ay, ay. This, mm, I mean, it's inaccuracy, but I guess 96 I was better. Mm -hmm. Here he, it's a mistake here to chop. This which be five this yeah I don't understand how yeah I mean okay this same Swiss still looks playable for white yeah rook a eight mm -hmm. this. Yeah, I mean, here it's already losing. As that second says, it's interesting. Um, and that's also interesting, but after this, can you say this is best move? I know, maybe, yeah, that's the best. Here, that's also interesting. Yeah, how to say, Kinish 7 is interesting. But Rook F2 is 7 also. You're also nice. No. Kin H7. You're also nice. Rook F2 is interesting, and Rook F2 is just a blunder. And yeah, Rook G7 this is. And it's draw. And if I do this one more blunder, then Rook F2 and White's winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if Rook F2, but after Rook F2, then just Rook H5 best move, and I'm winning. So, and after Rook G5, then. Not, not yeah, it was just a matter of time. Um, I mean, here rook f five is the best. Oh, and after rook b two, then this I have and rook will fail. Yeah. So if rook f five, yeah, I guess rook g four. Then if rook b six, then of course this. This is this, this or or if this and also that okay and yep yeah, if rook g4 rook b5 if rook e4 then I can do king d6 king d5 this is this and this or if uh, rook b4 then I can do this this, this and b1 win. Yep, and yeah, if rook b5 is rook d4, king d5, rook b4, rook f1, I'm winning. And yeah, after rook f2, then this, rook d2. I mean, even if I don't do rook d2, I'm winning. 
and the rest was just a matter of time. And here I checkmated my opening. Thanks for game two, so slap as a good stuff. Okay, saves. It's kind of big game. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, three. Three scrolls needed. It's probably going to do a control F already. So I can close his profile here, this, and this. So yeah, he finished in total on 14th place with six points. And now let's analyze my last nine, nine round game against Fidel Aster with Alhem He's 2009, he won in 2009, he has a uh, feed rate in 2349, game uh, rapid 2140 and bleeds 2216. So, world rank, yeah, active. From active players, 3,076 places, then in Russia, 287, and in Europe, 2,345. Okay, so Svetoslav had in Europe 23,456, and uh, Sava have 2,345, so 2,345. Okay, uh -huh. so his rating progress. His classical rating come down a little bit, then it came up, came down, came up. I checked it came a little bit up and came down, then came up, then came down again, came up, came down, came up, came a little bit down. Somewhere here it was. No, here it was. Yeah, here. He played this after he played in Santiago de Compostela. No. World Champion Classical, yeah. So then it came up here. Up, up, down, up, and now he's 23.49. So blitz rating started here, came up, came a little bit down, came up, came up, little, just little bit down, came up, then again came up, came up, and it was the same, and then came up. And rapid rating was like started, came down, came up, came up, came up, came up, came down, came up, came up, and again came up, and now it's here. Yep. So, um, let's check his first tournament. Well, had so many tournaments. First classical, first classical tournament with rating, and last classical. Then it will come rapid. Oh no, wait, available. Uh huh. But I, let me see. This seems fine. Then here available. Yeah, this is rapid. This and last rapid and the blitz is twice available. Let's check this out. And here, so his first classical tournament it was in Russia Lumna, uh, zero out of three points. So yeah, he didn't open rating, but in next tournament he did. It was under nine tournament. In Russia he got two out of five possible points, and he got rating. Of 1496, I guess. Yeah, 1496. Um, so then it was in Russia. Uh, he got half point out of one possible plus 680 on rating. And yeah. And his last classical tournament was in Germany. He got six out of five, uh, six and a half points out of nine possible and plus 76 on rating. So that was his opponents. Then he opened his rating in rapid in Kimri Spring in Russia. He got zero points, uh, but okay, maybe, maybe I missed some tournaments, but okay, like this. Uh, then it comes his first tournament with rating in Yaroslav, Russia, two points out of seven possible, minus 46, 20 on rating, but still like this. And his last tournament uh, he played with in Rapid, it is in Odin Tsova, Russia, 5 points out of 9 possible, minus 160 on rating. Um, so, yeah, played with two international masters, two women grand masters, one and one feeder master. So, yeah, then his tournament, one tournament in Dubna, Russia. In Blitz, he didn't open rating yet. 
But then second tournament, he opened it, did out of stream, but seems like he opened it. It was also in Russia 2015. Then it comes his first tournament with rating. It was Central FR Championship under 11. You know, Slav Russia, one with a half points out of four points, possible, and minus 18, 80 on rating. And his last Blitz tournament, it was Odinsovo Championship Blitz, 8 out of 15 possible and minus 15, 77 on rating. And one more Odinsovo Summer Blitz Cup, 13 points out of 22 possible, plus 96, 90 on rating. Oi, okay. Yeah, so that Petrova Elizabeth is and it's gone a little bit. Okay, that seems fine like this. Yeah. So, I'll give you more time to see because it's tough for <laughs> so many players. So, yeah, nice plus. A nice tournament. Alright, so I guess we can get started with analyzing the game. Um, Yeah, D4, this is. Bishop g2 is better, okay, but I decided to play here, queen a4, what seems also fine. It was 2-2-0 two, two for me and 1-2-0 two, for him. Queen c2 in exhibitions, queen c6, I yeah, saw so as much as possible, I don't allow him to develop. Knight d5 was a mistake, because rook c8, and bishop d2 mistake, because was knight c3. This mistake was on c5, yeah, I didn't like c5, and yeah, here I, I don't like this, because, yeah, that was nice, yeah, because knight to 4g takes f, and e3 is my idea, that's nice. So here I played a3, bishop a5 was better, but I played a3, why did I play it? Bishop a5 was nice, really, so, and I'm slightly better here already. And so this, here I decide not to chop, because I didn't like bishop e4. And then I don't like this. It's fine, but I didn't like it when I was playing game. And then, yeah. Comes this game. Not so many to analyze. I mean, rook fd8 in x on c5. Yeah, here is slightly better, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine here. And here, it's starting from here. It just was draw. That's like... Uh, Smallest game from analysis because here wasn't really a yeah, four. I I didn't want to to move back and forth. I decide to do this. This this of course not b three because of b four and c three and worse. He's already better here. Queen d four b four rook c two. Here I saw yeah okay after c three I can show you the rest of game. Right? Here we agreed on draw. Uh, but here I didn't like. I saw he has queen c5, and I saw I would play this, this, and like d6, but king of 8, ah, rook e2, and if rook d5, I can play rook e4, and I'm fine, and if this, then I can do d7, rook d8, that's a draw, I see, yeah, but I I didn't saw it, I saw play king of 3, and here it also should be fine, but yeah, but after c3, it was much easier draw, of course, because you just... Just repeated the position and that's all. So let's analyze the game on chess.com. It was 94.5 accuracy for me and 96.3 accuracy for Sava. Zero brilliant for each of us. 22 best move for each of us. Uh -huh. 10 excellent move for me. 11 for him. 2 good move for each of us. 8 book move for me. 7 for him. 1 inaccuracy for each of us. 0 mistakes for each of us. 0 blinders for each of us. And 0 mistwins for each of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably here. Uh, 95 in exhibits on rook c8. If I when I was playing game, I saw like he wanted to draw because bishop d2 in exhibits on knight. Yeah, knight c3 was better, of course. Yeah, and then knight pawn on e3, and I'm fine. I saw he wanted to draw because he repeated, and I saw probably he just wanted to repeat until the end. But okay, here bishop a5 was better, of course. Yeah, he takes c the best, but I didn't like it. Knight g4 was nice, or knight d5. That's true. But after this, here was some risky moment, so 95, 96, okay, 94 he had, but after he played queen b7, then here, and I just say who because I have e4, and I understood that I'm I minimum equal, because he doesn't really have anything, and yeah, here I decide to play a4, because 
I can say yes, in Nelson, I don't want to hold. I also was thinking Queen V4, but I didn't like this. And here he put his skin, so I don't know, I didn't like this position. Rook C8, A takes B, A takes B, this. And here I also, so yeah, Queen C5, this. But here D6, skin of 8, and Rook E2 is really nice move. And after Rook D5, I even can play for win here. So I can try to put King D5, C5, and check on B4. Fix with B3, then put King to D5, C5, and try something like this. And yeah, and if he plays Rook C8, and I can just play d7, this, rook e4, and it's a draw. But after b takes c, we just we can draw here, it's repetition, he offered a draw, and I accept it. So yeah, that was it. Yeah, queen c6 was maybe nicer. That's all nine rounds from European Online Just Chess Championship. All my games, so something like that. Uh, oh, I also analyzed it in chess base 15, I'll get it. Yeah, so uh, nice and accuracy, that's an accuracy, I see. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alt F2. Let's get started. Maybe Bishop G2 more. I cannot. Control B? No. Control T B. No. Um, let's just do this. More. Popular is uh -huh. this. Uh, probably that's inaccuracy. Just queen c six was the best. Rook b eight. Not with rook. Ouch. <laughs> uh, Ninety five. Wow, <laughs> that's interesting. Bishop c six. <laughs> Are you joking? And it's a draw. <laughs> or if he don't want this, <laughs> then this is. Maybe two. And he's slightly better <laughs> here, lol. <laughs> okay, we should be seven this. Yeah, 95 was also interesting. Uh huh. So this is. Inaccuracy, best of us. Yeah, he had to play this with c5 idea, so this is. This. Oh, not this. <coughs> f3 end. After the rook fc8 is slightly better, but still close to a draw. So bishop d2 is inaccuracy. Here I had to do this. And this is this, this. three. And I and on a g five made this or this. Interesting, and I'm slightly better because I have e three and these pawns are really nice. And this pawn at some point can be weak, and this is also weak. So like this, this. Yeah, so I like my position here more. So this one more inaccuracy. Mm, he had to play c5. e4, knight 5, e6. And... Hmm, it's... Bishop d5 looks slightly better, but I'm fine here. a3 is inaccuracy, best of bishop a5. Queen b8 is. Oh, not this. And I'm slightly better, so I can play for win. Yeah, just. Or, or if bishop a5, rook c8. Nah, not queen c8, are you serious? If rook c8, then knight bd2 with b4, knight b3, and knight here, and I'm better. That means, but better. So c5. Yeah, that's inaccuracy. You take c was the best, and you bishop c5. And it's equal. Or if you do bishop e4, then queen c1, this. Bishop g5, knight e5. Hmm. 
or BC1. And, and here I'm perfectly fine. Yep. So C4. And I can say start from here. Was nothing really interesting. This I can say interesting move. C3. Queen C5, I say it's interesting move. But I'm sure Queen C5. This is gonna fate. And look two. Look C8, this, 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 and it's draw. Or what? Yeah, if <coughs> not this, and if rook D5, then rook E4. And I can say even slightly better. King of 3, and I'm even slightly better, probably. Yep, so. Um, d6 is a nice move. I say it's the best. King of 3 is also nice, but I like this more. But up to this, there was nothing really interesting. We just traded and we agreed on row. So, yeah, thanks for game 2 with Um, Game. So, that's all my games from European and US Online Chess Championship. And, yeah, so. Uh, so some in, in total finished sixth place with six and a half points. So I can sh I will show you all my opponents' cards. It's who they played and how they played. So this is Simon Jakob, Vienna master from Poland. But this is a statistic. Then next it comes to it is Bazakus Slav. That's that is his statistic. Um, yep, yeah. and then it's our uh, statistic. That's it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all. So, now I just want to solve mm, puzzles on the chest. Six corner puzzles. Here it seems like 95, queen, h6, knight, f7, and I'm winning. 95, queen, g6, knight, g6, 95, queen, f6, knight, f6. Yeah. Amazing! 98? What do you want to do? After ninety eight, root three. Hmm. Maybe I have no. Bishop doesn't looks nice to be honest. Can H two probably, but then he can force a draw. I'm not sure about this. I can do rook f two. This <laughs> looks nice as well. Ninety five. Oof, <laughs> doesn't look nice too. I just try. Mm hmm, that's correct. Uh, because I just need, like no other moves. It's nice like this. So I just have to find a move here. I see. Accepting the challenge. I accept your challenge to find what's better here. Maybe rook f2, queen f2, bishop e5. Something like this. Ooh! Oh, he needs to. Mm. Ah, rookie. Oh, <laughs> that sneaky one. Oh, that's so. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah, I don't know how he did it. It's so funny. 
<laughs> nice one, nice one. Yeah, just didn't see this pin. Okay, rook of four not, that's not nice here because just knight mm, rookie one. He's fine there after queen e one, rookie seven, he's close to winning. So I guess rookie eight, king of seven, and queen e one. Yeah. Yeah, but previous puzzle was really funny. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, it was funnier and nicer if I solve it, but <laughs> it's funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, queen of three, queen of seven idea, queen a eight idea, which we have seven idea, so everything is idea. <laughs> queen of three, six, six, queen eight, or, or queen of seven, queen g seven. No. Yep, I'm a rook up. <laughs> this is nice. I mean, here I'll not think because <laughs> otherwise it's not nice <laughs> to play down a bishop. Here seems like just a c6 and d takes c, like king e6. Oh. Because rook e5, bishop f4, and his idea is king g3 and bishop f4, so I guess c6 and should be okay. Yeah, that's correct. I see. Maybe eight bishop d3 and knight d3, rook d3, king h8, rook h3 or something like that? I forgot just one. Okay, yeah, bishop d3 seems perfect. Just a second, I can put <laughs> result. Yeah. I'll show you after I solve two more puzzles, I show you all players once more. Knight d4 also can be nice. Bishop d3, knight d3, rook d3, rook g3 idea, I don't see defense. So I mean, king h8 if he plays, then rook h3. I'm perfect. So I guess I guess in puzzle will be bishop d3, f5, and bishop c2. No, knight g6. I didn't guess correctly. Okay, it's already five puzzles, right? Yeah. After bishop d8. What do you want to do after this? Hmm. Or maybe rook g7 and bishop d8. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. I guess I understand, like. Bishop d8 and like queen f5, I think I see what you want. Or rook f8. But I have bishop f6, rook f6. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Thing. Like both. <laughs> I like and this and this. Hmm, 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 hmm. I like Rook G7, King G7, Bishop D8. Wait, just thinking. <clears throat> I'm not saying what I'll do. They both look perfect. That's a problem. Not problem, it's goal of puzzle to find out what is not nice. I'd like to be. I think bishop d8 should be correct, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's try this. I mean, yeah, that's correct. And here, can try many moves. <laughs> of course, <laughs> that's true. It's true that I can try many moves. It is correct. I mean, rook g seven looks correct. Should be correct because king g one, queen e three. 
And you said yes, you can find it. Maybe just some kind of H3, like you want this. If G3, maybe G3? What? G3, Queen D5, King G1. No, G3, Rook F1. Doesn't look nice. Yeah, I guess Rook G7 should be correct. Yes, I don't see anything else. Bishop F6. G3, G4. Oh. Oh, gee, what? Ouch. I mean, we need four, we need one, we need four. Is that it? I mean, I mean, queen of five shouldn't look nice. Queen e four, king e one, queen a four. I don't know, a three. <coughs> Queen d1, queen a8, king h7, queen c6, bishop g5, king b1. I'm two pawns up. I don't know. Could be amazing for me. Yeah, that should be it. That should be it. <clears throat> but I'm not sure. Yes, because. My rook and bishop is hanging in, and if queen of five, it's not nice, so. And just queen d1, queen e8, bishop g5. Or bishop g5 now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's interesting, that's interesting talk. Um. Oh, bishop g5, I don't like rook f1. And this stuff. So I'm still more fan of this. Yeah. Okay, so now six correct puzzles and two not correct. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so for today, yeah, well, once more time, show you all players. Ooh, the standings up to 11 round in European Light Chest Just Just Championship. Scrolling down, so. Halfway there with this, 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 and this. Yeah, so I hope you like something this. So I hope you liked, uh, you liked uh, that analyzing of the games. So, yeah, I hope you did it and uh, you like it. And so for today, I will finish stream. So please join my team on chess. Bash, catch him, hot enough. Team San Hani sees 79 members. Thank you very, very much. So 21 more members and tell me tournament 800 members. So come on, please. I will be very happy. And also please join my club on chess. Come on, my club. Name my club. Boo. 114 members. Well, thank you very, very much. So 86 more members. And maybe I'm not sure, but maybe I'll make tournament 200 members. So come on, please. I will be very happy. And yeah. Thank you for following on chess on YouTube and Twitch and as usual. Click the like button and subscribe to me. And please comment on this video and please join on chess and clap on chess comment. Just enjoy chess. Bye bye. Pick up a guy. See you soon. See you tomorrow. And see you soon. See you soon. See you soon.